welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. I just want to show everybody what I do with all my extra resin from my paintings. So these molds I got from Lee Crunch Creations. I put a little tiny bit drop of purple in a cup. That purple is from Resin Obsession. It is a, a clear, transparent color. Sorry, I'm off camera. I'm mixing a little bit of resin in with the purple right now. I am putting the purple just in the tips of the crystals. I fill the rest of the crystals up with clear and I'm tapping them just so the air bubbles come to the surface and I'll just use the heat gun to heat gun them out a little bit. Oh, the heat okay, you guys, I got these molds from Lee Crinch Creations. I'll put the information below. I hope I'm saying it right, but if not, the information will be below where you can buy these molds or even the crystals that she makes. These are some awesome molds. I put um, iridescent blue and clear in this one. There we go. Oh. What do you guys think? Isn't that beautiful? It's pretty though, right? How cool is that mold? That's so cool. Okay. Down here and see if we can. Yeah, I definitely put too much resin in these. It's like, you can see it right here. Definitely too much resin. She does such a good job with these things. It's like creates this. I mean, it's like art in itself. You know what? It, the, um, if you think, I've had a, a, a few people say that the molds were pricey. Let me tell you something. These are quality molds. These ain't like dull on the inside. They're shiny, so your product comes out shiny. Isn't that amazing? Like, look at that. I should have put more clear so just the tips were blue but I like it, I think it's pretty. This is where I put the clear and the purple. These are new molds that she just sent me, so I'm dying to see what they look like. See how I did clear with the purple tips? And see all the little crystals? Well, I got extra resin here and I could just peel off because it's extra. Guys, it's worth every penny. Look at that. See if we can get this one out too. This one's probably soft too because I casted them last night. Ooh, look at that. Look how pretty. Pretty, right? Oh my gosh, they look so real. I wish you guys could see them in person. Like, can you see that this is like really looks like little tiny diamonds just glistening away? So cool. I love these molds. I love them. And everybody I show the crystals to, like, are the best things ever. They look so real. And they really do. Thanks, Denise. That's her name. She is an awesome person. So, if you guys are interested in any of these products, definitely like contact her this is another mold she gave me so if you're making a geo and you want like crystals in there you can just throw that in your geo right look at that so cool it's flat and then got crystals i made this gold one i think it's so pretty look at that I mean, if you were to look at that in person, you wouldn't know it, that wasn't a real crystal. You would swear it was real. I also did these little necklaces. I don't think the resin's hard enough yet. It's still soft. I can bend this with my, I bend it with my hands. Damn, that's pretty though, isn't it? That is pretty. So wear it around your neck. 
Here's another one. I get these off of Amazon. I could put the link below I'll just share it with you guys. I guess 12 hours ain't enough time. <laughs> Sorry. It's cool how I can stretch that though. And here's the other one, necklace. And I also did some roses because I was bored and had extra resin, as you can see, the blue. Well, this is still quite soft too. But look, look at my blue roses. I have no idea what to do with them yet. I was gonna put a magnet on the bottom and strip magnet and just have it on the fridge. That'd be cute, right? Good thing these things just pop right out. Here's a different rose. Now this one has a green leaf, which I didn't care at the time because I had extra resin and I wasn't about to make uh, enough for a green leaf, but um, I have a little green leaf. Next time I can put green in there and then do the, re the rose a different color. And this is like the littlest rosebud in the world. Now here's a cheaper mold I bought off of Amazon, much cheaper, but look at the difference. There's no shine to the crystal whatsoever. So you pay for her quality when she makes a mold. And it, I don't know. I think you can really tell the quality is um, quite poor with the ones I bought off of Amazon compared to Lee Crunch Creations. Her quality is much better. That's just my opinion. I mean, look at how dull this is. And then look at the other ones I made. The other ones look a lot more real that I got off of her. That's just, I'm just letting you know how I feel about them. Thanks for watching. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you get notifications on my next video. Everything that I use in my videos is listed below. So just click on the link. It takes you right to Amazon and you can go shopping. That actually um, helps my video keep going. Uh, I really appreciate everybody watching. I am so blessed to have you all in my life. Thank you so much. Come on, Duke. Let's go. Say goodbye. Come on, Duke.